Hi, it's Matt from Testfully, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick demo of Catalan Studio for API testing. So you need to go to their website, download the latest version of Catalan Studio, and you will see a screen similar to this one. Today, we are going to use the Rick and Morty API for testing uh, Catalan's features. Just go to uh, rickandmortyapi.com and click on the documentations where you can see uh, documentation for both GraphQL and REST API. I will be copying this URL, which I need to use for this uh, demo. So back to Catalan Studio. Here we have a couple of items in our left tree. What you want to do is to first create a HTTP request in the object repository. So click here and then new web service request. So here put the name of your request. For example, fetch a valid character profile. And it's obviously a RESTful, and the URL is this one. So now we click on the OK button, and uh, there is a one uh, request created for us. I can click on the Run button here and see the result working. Um, so far, so good. What I want to do is to set a couple of validations for this request because before we proceed, so come to this section. Um, so the the whole uh, validation in Catalan is written in Groovy, it's a programming language. So if you are not familiar with this programming language, you can use one of the code snippets that they have. One of the tests that I want to do, for example, is to status code to be 200. So I click on that one, similar to what Postman offers, and uh, it gives me this code. I will get rid of the second line, and I just set this one to 200. That's, let's say, that's the only validation I want. Okay, I saved just this um, test. Um, I can just run it one more time. And as you can see, it's passing. The next thing that you want to do is to create a test case. This is not a test. This is just simply a request that we will be using in one of our test cases. So come to the test cases section. And here I can click on the new test case. You can also have folders as well. So I will have a test called uh, fetch a valid character. So now my test is uh, created. Uh, in this section here, we have uh, basically a steps. So you can have multiple steps within your test and each of those steps can have different actions. You need to click on this section to add a new step. So let's go ahead and click on this one. What is important that you need to click on the web service keyword. Here, uh, select the send request and verify and then here double click and you will see that our request is shown here this you can select it so let's go and select this one and now our request is part of the test so our test case is defined and now we have one step let's go ahead and run the test and see what happens the test is running and it's passed now. Uh, in the bottom of the screen, I can see that our uh, validations are all good. So what I want to do for the next test, let's uh, change this uh, validation to make it fail. I will come back to my test again and run this one one more time. And it is failing. It's failing, we know that why it's failing because we have misconfigured our validation for the status code and this is how the information is actually written. So you can see in the log files, the validation is failing. So it's not very user-friendly. Here, there is a more user-friendly version of it. If you know uh, Groovy, you should be able to understand the exact rhythm, but also you can see here that one of the verifications failed and that's the exact reason of it. That's all, a quick demo for using Catalan Studio for API testing.